Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of JB's Saltwater Fish Tank and Friends. What you're looking at is King Leonidas. Um, apparently I haven't done enough videos on Leonidas lately, so I'm getting a lot of uh, IG texts, uh, Facebook texts, um, YouTube texts or messages asking what happened to King Leonidas. Where is this project? What's going on? You know, uh, you haven't posted anything. We need some updates, the whole nine yards. So let's start from the top. So as you guys know, I had uh, cut out the wall to put in those uh, two um, rods to come out to make the lights look suspended at, uh, in the middle of the wall out of, in, in, in basically thin air. Um, I then did electrical work, uh, put three outlets where the ATI unit is uh, to basically plug in the lights and be able to turn them off and on um, individually. To the right of the tank, I had the uh, light switches that are programmable just like you would use like a Neptune, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Apex unit to do, except my house does it for me and I, and I have to uh, shell out the money for the Apex, which uh, is good and is bad because, uh, I, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, well. The tank itself, I uh, did the background, painted it, have the uh, thin blue line on there. As far as the tank, um, I, I dig the tank. I have a, a scratch here that I need to uh, buff out, which has not been done yet. And, you know, finding time is like essential to doing any, everything in this hobby. Uh, the plumbing is done, as you guys will uh, know, because there's a video up on the plumbing. The skimmer's in, the calcium reactor's in, although it's in a box right there. Um, also, the media the, uh, that I'm using for the calcium and plus the additive for the magnesium is also in. Uh, the I'm using a Brightwell um, uh, block to uh, add, to, to basically build bacteria into the tank, which is on this side. Um, then the other thing I added was the auto top off unit. Now this is new. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. I'll move a little forward. That is the auto top off unit right back there. It's actually 10 gallons. It's made by a Banshee. Uh, it's the signature series and that's the 10 gallon ATO uh, in blue. Now the great part about that 10 gallon, it's, uh, it's 10 by 15 by 16 which are the dimensions, it fits right into the corner, it doesn't take up too much space. And um, also, I have the outlets for additional equipment, like um, I wanted to put a, either, a, I'm gonna feed the calcium reactor off of one and the bio pellet reactor off the other, or, or carbon, whichever ore that I feel that is going to be necessary when I start running the tank. That little light that you see in the bottom right there, that is for the cabinet lights. I have a remote for it, so I can remote activate it um, when need be. Uh, it's also, I actually have three of those little things. I got them at like Home Depot. I think it's for like the Christmas season or something like that. Uh, so I have one in the garage for um, the mosquito repellent, uh, the mosquito UV light or whatever like that. And I have one in the backyard and I have one here. So it's a remote that I use quite often. Now, the, like I said, the plumbing was done. I have that the Vertex, I believe it's the L1 on the system. And as you can see, everything's ready to go. I mean, all I'd simply have to do was put the carbon doser together. I mean, um, the calcium reactor, add the electronic carbon doser, which is right there. Uh, throw that block in the sump fill in the, the reactor, which I really don't need right now because it's not like I'm gonna have corals overnight. So I don't have to have this running. Technically, the way the tank is right now, it can run. Now, my issue is these floors. And I'm gonna tell you why. What happened is um, I want to do my floors and I don't want to move a running tank. Now, it's not really an issue about money um, and more like finding the right people to do the job, number one. Number two is finding the floor that I'm going to be happy with that is going to last me for a very long time. I have flooded my house before, um, <laughs> right where this tank is sitting. 
the way I flooded the house was I was talking to a couple friends who had came over because I think we were going to barbecue or something like that and they came early. So we were talking in the garage about other tanks and their projects, their builds and I forgot. When I came back in I found more than 100 gallons of water on my floor. I have a, a thousand gallon reservoir or I have about a thousand gallons in my garage. It was hooked up to one of the 300 gallons. The tank was only 150. I emptied the 300 for the most part, and it only had like 250 in it. So roughly, roughly 100, 100 plus gallons went onto my floor. Now what happened is I had to get um, squeegees, mops, um, a blower, fans, all type of stuff to try to settle out the floor because you know laminate bubbles and it's the worst thing that can happen to you because now you have this ugly looking floor and you're going nuts trying to figure out oh my goodness how I'm going to fix it now I could not in good conscience continue this project without doing my floors I have another issue though the other issue is that um, we also want to do the kitchen and the two bathrooms because if we buy a towel, uh, let's say we need about approximately four, maybe a little less than 4,000 square feet of towel if we're going to go transition throughout the whole home. Plus, I want a towel. My bathrooms are very big. Well, my master bathroom is very big, and I want to use the same type of towel to towel the walls uh, up to the, the ceiling to make it, like, run in unison. I'd have to show you guys the bathroom, which ain't going to happen today, <laughs> but I have to show you guys the bathroom so you can see what I mean. Now, as far as the kitchen, I have this nice big red wall right there. Um, this wall is a partition for my house. So, as you can see, the wall goes all the way down. Now, when you walk through here, you have my office there, and then you have uh, the Spartan here, and you have uh, a Xerxes there, and you have uh, uh, the 60, Jaden 60 here. Now, and then when you look over here, that's the 300. Now, the reason I did it is because, as you can see, I cannot see these tanks over there because I have this giant wall wrapped around. So what I have to do is, or what I'm planning on doing, is I'm planning to cut this wall out uh, completely, this whole wall completely. Now when I do that, once, once I do that, there's going to, uh, I have to remove electrical, I have to move my, uh, remove my pantry, I have to remove a lot of things, cabinets, the whole nine yards, and relocate that. So the, or the fridge is basically going to go there, and then there's going to be an island here in the middle and everything like that. Obviously not the same color, not the same wood, the whole nine yards, or whatever. Now, I've just explained that. It took me a couple minutes, I guess, but it's a lot to do. So I have to make a lot of decisions on how I'm going to get this done. Now, the reason I, I, I was trying to get it done now is because if I do it now, then I don't have to worry about my tiles not matching when they run across the floor and everything like that. I don't want to have to cut the wall out, then have to chip up tile and then uh, redo it just to make it look uniform. That's crazy. It's a lot of work, especially if you're using, um, especially if you're using like that wood looking tile and everything like that, you're using strips, let's say a six by 12 or six by 24, whatever the case may be or whatever. I haven't chosen it yet, but, or a 24 by 24, 36 by 36, whatever the case may be. Now, if I choose the tile and then I start doing the project and I don't do the kitchen or don't work on the kitchen, I'm going to regret it. I don't regret building tanks. I love building tanks. This is, you know, my passion or whatever. I would rather build tanks for myself, build them up just to showcase them on YouTube and then sell them off, you know, fully running, customized and everything like that, than go build tanks for people. I mean, granted, I love doing building tanks for people, but I mean, there's just something about being on your own time that makes the greatest difference in the world. So this is on my own time. So in order for me to continue to enjoy this and continue to do it, I have to do other things that I enjoy too, like making my house look great. You know, my last house looked like a damn near like a modeled home. I would love for this one to have the same unique look, 
you know so i haven't really picked out much new furniture i haven't done anything i've just been um, holding on to my money trying to figure out exactly what i want to do and then I'll, I'll execute a plan now once that plan gets executed um, i can then move forward into designing this tank now there is one caveat to that the only way i will design this tank is if i find uh rock for it um and w w what do i mean by that I mean, find rock. I mean, literally, somebody just has to give me some nice rock and then I'll aquascape it and it'll force me to run the tank. But I'm not going to go buy rock right now to put in this tank because then once I do it, I know I spent a bunch of extra money. Then then I have to add all the labor of the work that I'm going to have to do to remove the rock, the fish, everything like that, slide the tank forward. It's probably going to be sitting here for, uh, you have to move it for, let's say, a day or two or however long it takes to tile the drive, then move it back and everything like that. Um, I would be willing to do that if I had the rock, but since I don't have the rock, I'm not willing to go buy the rock to put myself in that. Uh, predicament so that's really what's going on with the tank at the end of the day like i said if somebody gives me rock i'm i don't have a choice i'll move forward with the project and everything like that as far as items that i'm missing for the tank the only item that i'm missing is i'm planning on buying one of the newer apex systems and it's just for convenience sake and to be able to run the calcium reactor with ease and be able to know that it's online um and like my garage and everything else in my house that's online and i can look at it and not have to worry about it especially being this i want this to be a sps tank so i have to monitor a little bit more than i would monitor anything else um, I think besides that I have to refill one of my one of the three um, co2 canisters that I have and other than that I can't think off the top of my head what else I needed for this tank I think oh what it was reef brights the three waters the uh, the three waters I want to add at least one strip maybe two um, to the ATI unit um, but I'm leaning towards one strip on the front and then lean it, point it into the tank or whatever. I just don't know how centered it, I don't want it to look centered. I want it to look like staggered or whatever. So we'll see. Um, but other than that, it's not too many, much, too much else that I need to do, but these are the few things that I need to do. And the other thing is, is brother, time is flying by. We're already in April. Um, and time is really, really flying by. So to be um, attentive to this, um, the Spartan, the um, King, uh, the Spartan Xerxes, uh, Jaden 60 gallon. Plus, we just added the additional scrap tank because that's what somebody on uh, YouTube named it. So I'm changing. I'm officially changing the name to the scrap tank. So the 80 gallon scrap tank in the garage. Um, to i'm doing all of those projects they're running everything's doing fine everything looks great as you guys can see i don't mind taking care of so many tanks but i do mind when it's going to take up um take me a lot of work to take it apart now here's the additional sequence to that the 300 has to come down and the frag uh my xerxes has to come down xerxes is not too bad because i could just slide it forward and get a sump and run it on its own or whatever and then not have to worry about it but for me to take down the spartan it's going to be the spartan 4.0 so that being said too if i start this side of the house and i decide to take down the spartan i could take all the corals moving into this tank all the rocks moving into this tank run this tank or whatever and if i i believe that I want to make this the LPS tank, which which is everything from um, the Spartan or whatever. I'll be able to shut the Spartan down. I'll be able to shut him down. Have King Neonidas running as an LPS tank and then reconfigure the Spartan to bring it up to Spartan 4.0 and make that the SPS tank. And so, I mean, these are the options that I'm leaving open. Uh, so, guys, let me know what you think. I mean... Um, I'll reply to all the comments off this video and everything like that. I specifically made this video for you guys. So please, you know, um, give me your input. Tell me what you would do. You know, um, I do have uh, uh, other obligations. I started a, a photography company. I have a bunch of gigs for that that's going on. So it, that's working out perfect too. So um, I, I'm kind of extending myself not really overexerting, but just extending myself a little bit more in life be, to be able to be out 
and uh, you know and um, have a life besides being stuck in my house babying my fish tanks so guys like I said, let me know what you guys think I should do or what, what, what you think it should be. Or even, even if you think I should sell this, the whole thing. If you, if you know somebody who wants to buy, maybe I'll just sell it and I'll start over. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. I mean, they won't get the, uh, the poles in the wall, but I mean, they'll definitely get the tank stand and all the brand new equipment that's in there. And then what I'll do is build a, a, new, a new tank and it won't be that much of a, a headache and i actually have some more ideas i'd love to run i mean my passion is building tanks so hopefully you guys see that and um i do apologize for the uh time delay reference the videos but I, i've been tied up a little bit for the most part but um i ended up in the hospital at 1.2 uh for a couple days but Thank you guys for always watching. Thank you guys for always supporting. Thank you guys for all the comments. I mean, um, it's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. And um, the other thing, uh, the other person I want to thank who kind of basically got me off my ass uh, to do this video besides, um, be, besides the people on Facebook, the people on Instagram, is once the first message that I got from uh, YouTube, which is, you know, obviously the most important thing, which came from, and I'll tell you right now, which came from Brian Hodge. So Brian, this video is for you. Shout out to you. Thank you uh, <laughs> for getting me off my ass. And uh, this is uh, my video reply to you. So uh, definitely, I if you're hearing me now uh i just subscribed to you so uh you you have a subscriber for me a subscription for me so i'll be watching your videos moving forward too have a great day